Here in part A, they want you to prove that this angle, angle PQR is 90 degree. That means this triangle is a right angle triangle. There are several ways to prove this. You can find the distance between the points and apply Pythagoras theorem. But the easier way here is finding the slope of this line and this line. If slope of this is a negative reciprocal of the slope of the other line, these two lines are perpendicular. That's what we are going to do. First find the slope of PQ, x1, y1, x2, y2. So y2 minus y1. I'm going to take this x2, y2, x1, y1. So y2 minus y1 minus of minus 13 divided by x2 minus x1, which is 44 divided by 8 or 11 divided by 2. That's the slope of PQ. Now let's find the slope of RQ now. RQ is y2 minus y1, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So you get 8 8 over minus 22 or you get 4 over minus 11. The question says show that it is a right angle, the angle at Q. They, they did not ask you to verify whether it's right angle or not. They say show that. That means it's definitely a right angle triangle. You have to prove that it's a right angle triangle. You cannot say the, uh, the slopes are not negative reciprocal to each other. So it's not 90 degree. It's wrong. Since the question says show that it has to be 90 degree. So when I multiply these two, I don't get negative one. Maybe I might have made some mistake here. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. 44 over 8, which is 11 times 4, 2, 4. Okay. Here it is supposed to be 26, I guess. You see, this making mistake is just normal. You just need to go back to the question and check. The question says, show that. So I know I might have made some mistakes. So I verify there is no mistake here. Here I missed out 26. Now it will be, uh, it's not 6, 8 anymore. It's 60. Mm, no, it's 4. 4. So when you divide, cancel out, you will get 2 over negative line. Now when you multiply these two, MPQ times MRQ is 11 over 2 times negative 2 over 11, you get negative 1. So when you multiply two slopes and you get negative 1, that means one slope is negative reciprocal of another one, or in other words, they are intersecting here at the point at 90 degree. So that means the angle at Q is 90 degree. That's how you prove this. This is one of the easiest method. You can find the use of the distance formula find the distance between RP, PQ and RQ, apply the Pythagoras theorem and then you can say these three uh, values satisfy the Pythagoras theorem so the angle this triangle should be a right angle triangle. So now in part B they want you to find the center of the circle. How do we find the center of the circle? You need to know this circle theorem. There is a circle theorem that says, if you take a circle, any circle, and if you draw a right angle triangle inside the circle, let's say I draw a right angle triangle. You can draw any right angle triangle. The hypotenuse of the right angle triangle will be the diameter of the circle. That's a circle theorem. Or you must have learned this in IGCSE. If you take a right angle in a semicircle, the angle in a semicircle is 90 degree. But here in our P2, the theorem, they rephrase the theorem. It says if you draw a right, a right angle triangle within a circle in such a way that the vertices are touching the circumference of the circle, 
the hypotenuse of the triangle will be the same as the diameter of the circle. So here we know this angle is 90 degree. So the side opposite to 90 degree is the hypotenuse. Here RP is the hypotenuse. So as per the theorem, circle theorem, the hypotenuse will be the diameter of the circle. So if you want to find the center, find the midpoint of arc. So how do we find the midpoint? The center is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So this will be 15 over 2. Not 15, it's uh, 16 over 2. 23 minus 7 is 16 over 2 is 8. And here you get negative 12 over 2 is uh, negative 6. So 8 comma negative 6 is the center of the circle. Now they want you to find the radius. How do we find the radius? Find the distance between RP and divide by 2. Because this is the diameter, diameter divided by 2. So the radius will be, use the distance formula, x1, x2, y1, y2, x2 minus x1 whole square, 23 plus 7 whole square, plus y2 minus y1 whole square. You get the diameter, this is not radius, it's diameter. So radius is, find this value, divide by 2. So you will get R equals 25. When you calculate this diameter and divide by 2, you will get 25. That's it. So if you want to solve this question, first thing you need to know is this. For perpendicular lines, the slope will be negative reciprocal to each other. Use that, uh, use that information to find the angle. Show that the angle at Q is 90 degree. And you need to know the circle theorem from chapter 2, which clearly says if you draw a triangle, right angle triangle in a semicircle, the hypotenuse will be same as the diameter. So if you know this is diameter, the midpoint of the diameter is the center. Find the mid, uh, find the center. The radius, you can take the center on P or Q, and you can use the distance formula to find the radius or you use the RP, find the diameter, divide by 2, you will get the radius.